Hello, this is Roar with the Love Chat, and today's topic is a much-needed pep talk. Now, this is video number 208. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, I would be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Today is the last day of the sale of the discount for all the coaching services. And so don't forget, if you would like to do coaching with me, the discounts end today. Now then, let's jump right into the topic. Look, sometimes this is going to get hard. Sometimes you're going to doubt if any of this works. You're going to keep searching through all these different coaches and topics and websites, and you're going to get so many different pieces of information. And I guess what I would say to you is it's important to remember which of these pieces of information is self-evident. Because the things I'm saying to you aren't particularly magical or special. They're just common sense in a lot of ways. And some of it isn't, but most of it really is. But still, we can know a thing is true and still feel bad about it. And so I figured I would make a video that you can listen to, especially in those moments where you think that it's just not going to work for you and maybe that person's never going to like you or that ex is never going to reach out. And it's really important to remember that we're here to accomplish such a bigger goal. So if you're panicking, I want you to listen to this video over and over again until you feel better. Look, your ex, and that's why most of you are here listening to this video, has likely broken up with you and you're freaking out and figuring out how do I get this person back in my life. Maybe you did the dumping and your ex doesn't want you back and now effectively you've become the dumpy. Either way, this video was for you. Maybe you've been rejected by somebody who you were dating. Maybe it was a casual thing and they just told you they're not interested anymore. Maybe you have unrequited love and this person doesn't even know how you feel. No matter the case, it's important to remember to keep moving forward. This is for you. The self-improvement is for you. The self-love is for you. And at some point, you want to stop and realize how cool it is that you've been given a gift. And that gift is the ability to shape yourself into who you want to be. Any goal that you have, you can accomplish. And above all things, it takes patience, time, and love. Now, right now, as you're listening to this video, you're probably feeling pretty down. And if you are, I want to remind you that it's okay. One of the greatest things that helps me when I'm in a state of disrepair or disarray is reminding myself that I'm sacrificing the happiness that I could be feeling today for the eventual success that I will have tomorrow. So maybe you're having a rough day or a rough week or whatever it might be, and that's okay. And I'm here to remind you that all of this is just a matter of how you think of things. Because for some people, they allow negativity and perhaps situations that are less than ideal beat them down and have them in a state of paralysis where they're not doing anything. But for other people, and you have this choice as well, you have a choice to get up and let it motivate you to be something you never thought you could be. You're a creator in your own life. And knowing that is crazy. It's beyond me that we can take something like a breakup, something that's really personal and really stabs us right in our heart, and turn that into the best body we've ever had, and turn that into the most money we've ever had, the most interesting life we've ever led, the most amount of friends that we've ever had. That's crazy to me. It's equivalent exchange if you think about it. I'm giving you something and I'm making something because of it. Not only that, because it's not quite equivalent, is it? Because sometimes exes really do come back, and so you get to have this new life, oh, and you get that person back too. And if you think about it, we're looking at the problem in the wrong way. You're sitting there thinking this horrible thing has happened, how am I going to get through this? How am I going to make this work out for me? But it's not a problem, is it? No, not a problem at all. It's a challenge. And you don't turn down challenges, do you? No, not at all. You innovate. You make it better. You make yourself better. You make the whole situation around you better. But the main reason you did it and the main motivator is the pain that you felt, meaning you took suffering and you transcended it. You did better because a negative thing happened. And that is amazing. When else are you going to get this opportunity for growth? How many times in your life can you say that I was given misfortune and I turned it into success? But it starts today. And it starts remembering that progress is not linear. You're not supposed to do nothing but succeed because then failure has no meaning. And if failure has no meaning, then you never struggled. And if you never struggled, you can't be here. Being here in this place of growth requires struggle. So how do we do it? Simple. You begin 
You set goals that you actually believe you'll accomplish. You tell yourself, hey, I want that. And if I want that, and if I set realistic markers along the way, I can have it. And so if you walk forward wisely, and don't take a New Year's resolution mentality to this, where you set huge goals for yourself in January only to fail them by February, set realistic goals that you know you'll do, that you value. So maybe my goals aren't the same as yours, but that's okay. Because the pain that we feel during a breakup, during rejection, gives us the same fertilizer. And we can use that fertilizer to achieve our valued goals. But we first need to define what our valued goals are. We need to set, like I said, realistic markers along the way. And we need consistency over time. If you add those elements together, you can have whatever you want. In the event this person that you want back doesn't see your value, then were they really the person that belonged in your life? You ever hear the quote, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at my best? Well, that's a two-way street, my friends. Because right now, your goal is to handle yourself at your worst in order to create your best. And you can do it. Consistency, valued goals, time. Now go get it.